All right, YouTube, this is Destiny Heroic, um, and I've had enough requests for it, so this is going to be the uh, Vylon Omega Lockdown Decklist. Um, I've had a lot of people demanding it, so here it is. So, I've had t some time to work on it and tweak it a little bit, so it's slightly different from when I did the combo exhibition, but uh, I'm sure you won't notice because I didn't show a deck list then. So, first, obviously, we are running three Trident Warriors. Trident Warrior is very important. He's a non-tuner light, which um, for the Vylon Synchro Monsters, most of your non-tuners have to be light in order for them to even be summoned. We are running two Photon Thrashers. Uh, this is this does pretty much the same job as Vylon or as a Trident Warrior because you, but you can special summon it. And this is also an elegant way of dealing with Thunder King Ryo. Special summon it, and they either have to to negate the summon with Ryo, or you can just attack over it. And also, it's a level four light, so it works with your uh, synchro summoning. Three Shining Angels. Shining Angel, um, this is good if you don't have your cube right away. Vylon Cube is probably the most important card in the deck. And uh, what you can do is, if you don't have it, you can set it, and when they run over it, you search it. And then you can use one of your uh, level 4 lights to start your combo going. Two Vylon Hepts. Um, it's good to have some non-synchro, non-tuner Vylons in the deck because there is a third way that I haven't shown to bring out the, uh, the Vylon Omega. And uh, I'll show that either at the end of this video or in another video. And of course, the most important card in the deck, Vylon Cube. You have to have this if you want to get going, if you want to get the combo going in either version of the deck. If you want to do an OTK, if you want to do the Vylon Lockdown, then you have to have Cube. So you have to run three, and you need multiple ways of finding him and getting him on the field. Um, so he's machine tuner, light, when he's used to, for the synchro summon of a light monster, then you search for, a, for a, uh, an equip spell. Two prisms, Phylon prisms. I've gone down from the three that I showed in the video, because we don't have any of the good uh, level or rank four triple overlay exceed monsters that I was that I was using, so like we don't have Shockmaster yet. So obviously, once Shockmaster comes out, I would put a third prism in. But uh, for our purposes, where we only have uh, rank four double overlays, we can only uh, we, we only really need two, and the space can be used for other things. So uh, I don't know if I ever said the effect, but uh, Prism's effect is uh, when he goes to the graveyard, you pay 500 life points and equip him to something on the field. And then when that when that something attacks, it gains 1,000 attack points in the damage step. Double Sphere. Um, sphere is pretty important to the, viol to the uh, Omega lock combo because you can swap him out for a, an equip spell in your graveyard. And we're running two of them because sometimes we need to use Violon Epsilon to get Omega out. So two level ones plus a level eight is level 10. So that's why we're using two spheres. And of course the Tetra, only one. We want to be able to search this guy. We don't really want to have him in our hand. So we want to be able to bring him out with, um, with Violon Element. So we're only using one. When he's equipped to something, it's the same same as Sphere and and uh, Prism. You pay 500 life points when he's got when he's sent to the graveyard. You equip him to a monster on the field, and then when the monster would be destroyed, you can destroy this guy instead. Um, to combat the metagame, we're using two effect veilers and a single Sangin as one additional option for searching out your Vylon cube. Now we're into the spells. 
There's lots of equips in this. It's heavy spells. So vial on filaments in triplicate. Uh, filaments turn your monster into an ancient gear monster, meaning they uh, when your Vylon declares an attack, they can't respond to, to the attack until the end of the damage step. And as usual, all Vylon equips, when they're destroyed, you can search for a Vylon spell and add it to your hand. Three materials. Three Vylon material. Uh, this is the same deal as filament, only it boosts your Vylon by 600 attack, and then it replaces itself, like I said before. A single Vylon component. This adds piercing to your to the monster it's equipped to, and again, when it's destroyed, you search for a spell. And we're using one Rod of Silence KS. This is a terrible card outside of the combo. But so we're using only one, but it's highly searchable. That's why you need to have cube. Probably when you play cube, this is going to be your search if you have the combo. So we only want to play one. We don't really want to have this in our hand. It's a pretty miserable top deck. But uh, once you have it and it was free, then you can do all, so all sorts of stuff, as you saw in my other combo videos. Two Vylon Matters. Um, this is used for recycling your equips. You can send three equips back to the deck and then either draw a card or destroy a card. It's immune to Stardust Dragon. Um, and if you have uh, if you have a spell uh, an equip spell in your hand when you activate this, then you can do your loop three more times. It's just basically to, to recycle your equips back into the deck so you can search them out again. We're only using two Vylon elements, despite how important it is. But like I said, um, all your Vylon, Vylon spells are searchable. So this is something we don't want to be talk decking too much. We want to be able to search it out to get our combo going. So I felt that two was balanced. And what happens with this is when a Vylon equip card is destroyed, or equip cards, uh, then you special summon Vylon tuners from your deck up to the number of equipped cards that were destroyed. But then when you, you can either use them for exceed summoning, but if you use them for synchro summoning, then it has to be for a Vylon synchro. And in terms of staples, we're not running many. Dark Hole, Reborn, and Book of Moon. Uh, Dark Hole is in here as a proactive way of dealing with Thunder King Ryo, maybe Force of Solemn, something like that. Reborn is obvious, it helps us get back our cube if we've lost it. And Book of Moon can, is a defensive card to use against like the Insector or the, or the Wind-Up matchup. And Magical Mallet, a single copy. Um, there are a lot of things we don't want to see in our hand. We don't want to see Vylon Tetra, we don't want to see more than one or two we, well, we don't want to see the Vylon Spheres at all, when we don't, and we don't necessarily want to see Rod of Silence Chaos in our hand. So this, if you have the rest of the combo, you can play this and throw them back in the deck and give yourself another chance to draw the combo. That was the spells, and for the traps, we are running a simple three Royal Decrees. Um, this is for the lockdown. Once you have Omega and maybe Shockmaster on the field, or Roach, or whatever you decide to use, um, then you can flip this in their end phase, and they're locked down. And I'll show you the extra deck. Uh, this is an incomplete extra deck. Um, it's basically the basically the core of what you would have to use. Everything else is up to you. So obviously, Violon Omega, just one copy. It's really not possible to get a second one out unless you rework the deck entirely. But uh, he's, he's kind of the most important center card of the deck. Um, you need two tuners and, a non -tun and one non-tuner Vylon to bring him out. And then he has a whole bunch of effects. When he's synchro summoned, uh, he destroys everything on the field that was originally summoned or set, normal summoned or set. So, but it has to be face up. So if they set something and you summon this guy, it doesn't destroy the set. It has to have been flipped face up. Um, once per turn, you can spe you can attach a Vylon mo uh, monster in your graveyard to him, and then 
If a monster effect is activated during either player's turn, you can send one of the equip his equips to the graveyard to negate and destroy the monster effect. So that's this is kind of the core of our lockdown. Duvile on Epsilons. Uh, this is uh, for, for uh, attempt number two to get your Omega out. This and two spheres will summon a Vile on Omega. Um, his effect is... He can, his, anything equipped to him can't be targeted by your opponent, and you can send one of his equips to the graveyard to destroy a monster on the opponent's side. And he's pretty, he's pretty big. He's level 8, and he's uh, 2800 attack. He's actually also the only Vylon monster that doesn't require a light non-tuner or a Vylon non-tuner. So I took it out of this build, but you can bring this guy out with Prism and um, Summoner Monk. Two Vylon Sigmas. Um, I showed you the OTK that revolves around this guy, but uh, one thing this guy can do also is he can search out the equips that you don't have in a more aggressive way than Vylon Delta. Um, if you don't have, if you have two equips, and you don't have your Chaos yet. You can attack while he's the only guy on the field. Search your Chaos and attach it to him, and then do your combo in main phase two. So this guy, he's uh, he's not very big. He's level seven, but he only comes out with eighteen hundred attack. But if you attack a monster and you use his effect, you can you can grab a Vylon matter for, or Vylon material from your deck, and he boosts to twenty four hundred. That's usually enough to win against any level four or lower monster. One Vylon Delta. This guy's pretty reliable. He's easy to get out. Um, if he's in defense mode during your end phase, you add an equip spell from your deck to your hand, and if you use the uh, Vylon Hept thing. You can uh, attach this guy to Vylon Omega, summon Hept, and bring him out in defense mode. And then he just adds equips to your hand every turn, as long as he's not destroyed. And for other non Vylon stuff, we're using a single Stardust Dragon. We can bring out level 8s pretty easily. Ancient Sacred Wyvern. There is really no reason not to play this. Light Tuner and, and a, and a non-tuner and a just standard vanilla whatever non-tuner. You don't need a special non-tuner for this guy. But uh, with if you have this alongside a Violon Omega and a clear field, uh, just att attacks from, from both of them is enough to kill your opponent. And I'm playing a single copy of Arcanite Magician. Um, there's no way to bring this out based on the main deck alone. This is mainly for game two and three. Um, if your opponent brings in, or you're anticipating your opponent to bring in uh, light imprisoning mirrors, then you would side into three breakers. And this and a breaker, uh, you can you can bring you can bring this guy out with Vylon Cube and a breaker. And because he's a light, Vylon's, uh, Vylon Cube's effect will activate, adding a card to your hand. And then for Exceeds, we're using Utopia and Leviathan Dragon. Uh, you probably also want to use a Utopia Ray, because you don't want to, in this day and age, you don't really want to be leaving a Utopia on the field by himself. So that's why we went down to two Prisms, because we can only do double overlays right now. And Leviathan Dragon, I showed you, you can do your combo and bring out a bunch of cubes and overlay into a, into a rank three. Um, that's 11 cards for the extra deck. Uh, the rest of the spots are reserved for, I don't know, whatever it is you want to play. You can play Scrap Dragons, you can try a Black Rose Dragon if you want. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, and when we get Shockmaster and, uh, Violent Dice Sigma especially is a triple overlay. We'll want to have space in the extra deck for those when they come out. So, uh, that's the deck. Um, thank you for the interest in this deck, um, and if there's enough interest in the OTK version, I'll post that too. So far there isn't though. So uh, check out those videos, check out the combo videos, and uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.